Ave Maria, welcome again to Cato Pinoy Franciscan Vesper. And I am your host and companion, Father Johannes Jeremy Maria Salise of the Franciscan Friars of the Immaculate. We are now in evening prayer one in the 12th Sunday of the Ordinary Time, week four. So if you have your bravery like this or digital, uh, we will start with the invocation of Saint Bonaventure. Lord, open my lips to praise your holy name. Cleanse my heart from any worthless, evil, distracting thoughts. Give me the wisdom and love necessary to pray this office with attention, reverence, and devotion. Father, let my prayer be heard in your presence, for it is offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess Him, King of glory now. Is the Father's pleasure, we should call Him Lord. Who from the beginning was the mighty Word. Humbled for a reason to receive a name. From the lips of sinners, Unto whom he came, faithfully he bore it, spotless to the last, brought it back victorious when from death he passed, bore it up triumphant with its human life. Through all ranks of creatures to the central high, to the throne of God and to the Father's breast, filled it with the glory of that perfect rest. In your hearts enthrone Him. There let him subdue all that is not holy, all that is not true. May your boys entreat him in temptations all. Let his will enfold you in its light and power. Brothers, this Lord Jesus shall return again with his father's glory or the earth to reign he is god the savior he is christ the lord ever to be worshipped always blessed adore first antipon Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. From Psalm 122 I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house, and now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment, of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. First Antiphon, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Second Antiphon, 
from the morning watch until night, I have waited trustingly for the Lord. From Psalm 130 Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice, or let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness, for this we reveal you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord, more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak, and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy, and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Second Antiphon From the morning watch until night, I have waited trustingly for the Lord. Third Antiphon <coughs> Let everything in heaven and on earth Bend the knee at the name of Jesus. Canticle from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, chapter 2, verse 6 to 11. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus that did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of man. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens on the earth and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Third Antiphon Let everything in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus. Our reading is taken from the second letter of St. Peter, chapter 1 verse 19 to 21 we possess the prophetic message as something altogether reliable keep your attention closely fixed on it as you would as you would on a lamp shining in the dark place until the first streaks of dawn appear and the morning star rises in your hearts first you must understand this there is no prophecy contained in scriptures <coughs> which is a personal interpretation. Proper prophecy has never been put forward by man's willing it. It is rather that men, impelled by the Holy Spirit, have spoken under God's influence. Responsory from the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. Response from the rising of the sun to its setting, May the name of the Lord be praised. His splendor reaches far beyond the heavens. Response. May the name of the Lord be praised. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Response. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. Canticle of Mary. If anyone bears witness to me before men, I will praise him in the presence of my Father. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has mercy on those who fear Him. 
in every generation. He has shown the strength of his own. He has scattered the proud in the conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the which he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Canticle of Mary If anyone bears witness to me before men, I will praise him in the presence of my Father. Intercession Everyone who waits for the Lord finds joy. Now we pray to him. Response Look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. Faithful witness, firstborn of the dead, you washed away our sins in your blood. Response. Make us always remember your wonderful works. You called men to be heralds of your good news. Response. Make them strong and faithful messengers of your kingdom. King of peace, send your spirit on the leaders of the world. Response. Turn their eyes toward the poor and the suffering. Protect and defend those who are discriminated against because of, of race, color, class, language, or religion. Response. That they may be accorded the rights and dignity which are theirs. May all who died in your love share in your happiness. Response. With Mary our mother and all your holy ones. So, brothers and sisters, today is a Feast of Immaculate Heart of Mary. Let us include in this Franciscan Vesper our family, relatives, friends, and loved ones. And let us include our frontliners and our brothers and sisters affected by the coronavirus. And let us pray for, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary that, uh, that this pandemic will stop or end. Now let us pause a moment of silence for our own personal intention. Now let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, guide and protector of your people, grant us an unfailing respect for your name and keep us always in your love. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, your family, relatives, friends, and loved ones, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. So thank you very much for praying with me. And always remember, don't forget, smile, be happy. Mama Mary loves you. Ave Maria.